Here we go, I'm ready to focus once again on my marathon training. Last year I had some kind of success, even if I wasn't able to achieve a new personal best in marathon, but I was very close. And that's always my main goal. Overall I was happy about my season, especially in a fall and a winter. So this summer had a toll on me. It was really hard and tough because of wind, uh, heat, humidity and mosquitoes. I live in a small town close to a lagoon and this year the lagoon is a mess and that's why there are more mosquitoes than ever. So I have just two very small windows of time to train properly otherwise I risk to fuck up. But in this dreadful uh, summer I had some races, a few races and the most important was uh, in Rome, I'm speaking about uh, We Run Rome 2022. It was a 10k in a very hilly uh, course in the center of the town and it was uh, hot like hell but I was very proud of my performance because I was in the shape to run uh, a sub 35 minutes 10k on a flat course. So. I finished this race in uh, position number 15 out of uh, 2,111 runners and ahead of the first woman, a Kenyan girl, in uh, 35 minutes and uh, 37. So, for me, uh, that equals a personal best on the distance. But as I said, I had a tough time uh, this summer, especially from mid late June to mid late uh, July. Um, that's why I've been started training properly for marathon uh, since this very month. Um, let's take a look to my first week of marathon training. So, on 1st August, I had this uh, 18k at a sub uh, 4 minutes per k pace, quite good. Then I had uh, uh, this session, 13k with a teammate, and then I tried to push a bit uh, on my own, 4k at a uh, pace of uh, 3 minutes and uh, 43 seconds per k. Then I had uh, 70k at decent pace and the day after just a small race but with quality field um, I didn't like my running form in this race anyway uh, I was able to finish in position number 9 out of 150 runners so uh, in 3 days I had two races and in between I had this session of uh, 15k at decent pace. Then this smaller race in uh, Tuscany, close to Siena. Hilly course, uh, uh, I was the leader from start to finish, I tried to push and I ran by feeling. So I was happy about my performance and I was able to win with 20 or maybe 15, 15 seconds of advantage on the runner-up. I have the video of the day. I mean, uh, the field wasn't so good, but it's always a victory, you know? And there I liked my running form because I ran properly and I uh, can prove that because as I said, I have the video. And that's it. This was in uh, Montalcino. It's a town, uh, uh, town of wine. But what's funny about this? I don't drink wine. I don't even know what wine tastes like. I don't like alcohol at all. Um, I always give away my prices in uh, wine or in uh, meat uh, because I'm vegetarian so that's it 
Now, take a look to week number two of my marathon training. So far, so good. Uh, this week was um, 92k, uh, good average pace. Uh, it was uh, 3 minutes and uh, 58 seconds per K, the weekly average pace. Alright, week number two. So, this was my hay day in a row. Um, the weather was uh, fresher, as the title says but as usual windy <sighs> wind is a real problem for me but i deal with that it's hard but i take it like a chance to train harder so when i will race in a very uh, chill day maybe i will be stronger who knows or just less annoyed <laughs> so 20k uh, it wasn't so easy, but uh, I was happy about that. And the day after, another nice session uh, at uh, sub uh, 4 minutes uh, per K pace. Once again, just a 13K, but I had nothing more in my legs. And uh, that was um, a session with a teammate, with Frank. Uh, we had uh, some warm-up, then um, a 5k quite fast for him, and then other, almost other 11k at uh, a slow, decent pace. This was uh, <laughs> an half on my own with a, a kind of a progressive um, pace. I had some uh, progression in the end, I was happy. Uh, of course, it was windy. Um, then this uh, 10k, nothing special, just uh, 3 minutes and uh, 54 seconds per k. But as I said, we have a uh, here in Orbitello because of the fucking lagoon, this huge problem with mosquitoes. Even the Guardian, I mean, the, uh, the newspaper had an article about this it's a real mess <laughs> you know a tragedy so i had a, a very bad idea to uh, go out uh, too late and they the mosquitoes ambushed me so this week was a little longer than the previous one 100k and let's see what uh, next week will bring. I hope to run uh, something like this in terms of mileage and pace. That's it.